The Quiet Ones is a movie that takes place in 1974 at Oxford University. It is about a professor that seeks to use an experiment to disprove God uh, and to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. And of course, that doesn't go terribly well for him. Can you walk us through the cast? Because you've assembled a fantastic collection of uh, young actors, and then, of course, Jared Harris at the other end of the spectrum as well. Yes. Uh, we were extremely fortunate with our cast. The moment that I met Sam Claflin, I knew that he was uh, absolutely perfect for the role of Brian McNeil. Um, the, the part of uh, the, the part um, that Olivia got is uh, or was extremely hard to cast because she had to be both very vulnerable and very scary at the same time. Uh, and this is Olivia's first movie and I'm super proud um, that uh, uh, I was able to do her first movie because I think she's a true force of nature and has a gigantic career ahead of her. Obviously she does. Um, so um, we were very, very lucky. And uh, Jared, of course, is uh, an absolutely amazing presence on screen and a, and a very, very hard worker uh, and extremely generous with the other actors and was sort of the leader of this tribe as the professor. Uh, and so it was, an ex it was an extraordinary privilege to work with him. Um, I was very, very interested in scaring the hell out of the audience as much as possible. And so, um, for me, it was about creating a visual grammar so that the 16 millimeter footage and our main character's point of view became completely enmeshed so that the audience by the end of the movie, particularly in the attic sequence, um, felt like every time they were looking through the camera, they were looking through McNeil's character. And so, essentially, what I tried to do was create a situation um, where we were so fully immersed in the found footage element that um, we never noticed when we went in and out of it. Of course, you're working for an iconic uh, studio in Hammer. What's the spirit of Hammer, and how does this film personify and continue that legacy? Well, the spirit of Hammer is this gentleman right next to me. Um, uh, I think that there's a certain audacity to Hammer, which um, really attracted me. Uh, there's a risk-taking, obviously, Woman in Black, Let Me In, uh, is, a, is a daunting but also wonderful legacy to be, to be part of. Um, and then, obviously, you go back to Quartermass and, and everything that came before it. Um, I think there is, there is a certain style to Hammer uh, and uh, a certain flair. Uh, that, that really appeals to me and we tried to be subtle about it in the movie but it was, it was really fun to integrate or at least we tried to.